the invisible man by h g wells and today we will be doing chapter number 17 dr kemp's visitor we are already introduced to the character of dr kemp and in this chapter we have two characters dr kemp and of course the invisible man who will be the visitor to the house of dr kemp and uh, um, in chapter number 16 there was an incident which you would like to recall in chapter number 16 we had the shooting that took place at the jolly cricketers inn and the invisible man had been injured if you remember and marvel had escaped from his clutches with his money and with the three very important books of the invisible man so in this chapter which is chapter number 17 which we have now the inc- incident which takes place happens one hour after the shooting incident at the inn so what happens one hour later we see we are back to dr kemp's house we see dr kemp very hard at work in his study and the author also tells us that he had heard the sound of gunshots being fired at a distance so he had heard the sound of shots but he did not know obviously what was happening because he was right here in his study and one hour after that the doorbell rings in his house the lady the maid who goes to answer the door uh, finds that there is no one at the door so she thinks that maybe it is just a run away ring you know maybe some child has rung the bell and run away so uh, she doesn't put much focus on who this was and dr kemp also asks her and she says sorry there was nobody and he goes back to his work around midnight dr kemp finishes his work at the study and decides to retire to his room so uh, it is please remember that the time is around midnight so it is quite late in the night when he is done with his work and he thinks that okay fine let us call it a day and let us go and he notices a blood spot on the rug near the staircase as he is going upstairs to his room so uh, this blood spot is very important he he is climbing he is about to climb the stairs because his room is upstairs and uh, what he, does he notice he notices that there is a spot of blood um, on the rug 
and uh, he is a little uh, curious and as how could this pot come and yet he goes to his room and he finds uh, another curious thing that the door knob is also blood stained so now it is pretty strange that how could the door knob be blood stained as he enters his room he notices that the sheets on his bed are all tumbled up blood stained and torn so it is as if somebody had come to his room uh, someone had come to his room and sat on his bed and obviously that person must be bleeding injured that is why there are so many blood stains he remains cool and collected he does not show any hysterical any frantic motions or you know shouting or anything he remains pretty cool and collected and then he notices now this is important what does he notice he notices a bandage hanging mid air so this is again very eerie you know it is something which is unbelievable uh, how can a bandage hang mid air so he does not know what to say but still the bandage is there and he thinks that somebody someone has called out his name so he thinks he has heard his name right there but he cannot see anyone he cannot see anyone then a voice addresses him and tells him that he is the invisible man obviously dr kemp does not believe it why doesn't he believe it because he's a man of science he is a very very logical man he knows that invisibility is not possible he doesn't believe it and he tries to touch the bandage he tries to understand how can this bandage hang mid air he tries to touch it but invisible fingers grip his arm and this makes him pretty alarmed now he is scared anybody would be scared because it is as if some invisible fingers have grasped his arms and they some invisible voice is trying to talk to him so naturally he is alarmed now and he starts to kick and fight because he just wants that grip to be loosened he wants to get away he he wants frantically to get away from that grip and he tries to kick and fight but he is pushed onto the bed and the invisible man threatens him to not 
shout the invisible man you know he throws him on the bed and he threatens him that if you shout i'm going to kill you and this makes kemp a little uh, afraid and he says okay fine i will not say anything give me a moment uh, kemp asks him to give him time to understand because this whole thing is absolutely uh, it it's like a, such a big question mark he can't understand what is happening he is absolutely alarmed and this situation is unbelievable for him how could somebody be an invisible person and yet the proof is there he can feel the touch and he can hear the voice and yet he cannot see the person after this the invisible man gives his introduction now this is not new to you please remember we have done uh, the complete introduction of the invisible man uh, in chapter number 1 and from this chapter chapter number 17 we had taken um, uh, a coat and we had done the complete physical description of this man so here uh, he is giving his